Our general take on current proceedings is that we are a society in regression. In order to recover quickly, one of the biggest questions we have to ask ourselves is, who are we? Put simply, if you don't know who you are, you have no idea where you're going and what you're trying to achieve. The law of nature of any creature on planet Earth is that it's the adult's job to give the young the best chance possible to survive and to flourish. Why then has this notion been completely forgotten in UK politics? Unless your parents have a few quid, it's now almost impossible for young people to get a decent start in life. So buying a home, buying a car, starting a business is now beyond the wildest dreams of most young adults, which is an atrocious state of affairs. If the UK government wants a key performance indicator, KPI, of political success or failure, this is about as clear as it gets. If you want to live in a progressive world, since when was punishing young people and reducing their life chances a good idea? On the 23rd of January 2023, the BBC reported that Japan is on the brink of serious economic and social failure due to falling birth rates. On further analysis, it would appear that this is a trend replicated in all Western democratic nations. We now estimate that due to the economic burden of starting a family, up to 25% of females under 40 will be involuntarily childless by 2040. This is staggering stuff and is currently nowhere on the radar of any of our political parties. The truth of the matter is that most later millennials and Generation Zs born between 1995 and 2010 now feel voiceless, invisible, inadequate, anxious, depressed and lonely. Being afraid, ashamed and trapped by a situation out of your control is a serious economic and cultural issue. Low self-esteem, peer group pressure for validation, fear of failure and lack of confidence are all characteristics that are the antithesis of entrepreneurial spirit and artistic impression. It would appear then that the digital age of technology has provided a world that to many has no meaning. The job of any political party that now forms a government is to focus on the task in hand, which is to make the most of our prized assets, which are our children. We must unlock all potential, increase individual responsibility, and create opportunities for progression so that young people have an environment to grow mentally, spiritually, and emotionally. It may be that our education system is no longer fit for purpose. We need to define values, institutions where people can make friends and a new sense of patriotism. Where young people have traded liberty for pleasure and consumption, we want to see a renaissance in rebellion, music, art, fashion. Currently, Generation Z is lacking the ability to define its own culture. Currently in London there is an inquiry into COVID-19 policy and what went wrong. We would like to make a point that no one else seems to want to discuss. Lockdown policy, in our opinion, totally shafted our young people in every way, shape and form. It's almost a line in the sand for us. Our conclusion for young people is a simple one. They currently have no skin in the game and have been let down by their parents' generation. This stuff needs to be fixed quickly because in the end, nobody wins unless everybody has the chance to win. An economy devoid of opportunity has no chance of lasting long term.